And then this patient is asking a, a pretty specific question. Um, cancer patients are always worried about recurrence or worse, a second cancer. How can I be sure that my CLL doesn't progress to something called Richter's transformation? So maybe if you can um, explain what that is, um, talk about that a little bit, the Richter's transformation. Yeah. So it's a, it's, it's a really uh, aggressive transformation of the CLL into a high grade B cell lymphoma. And, and uh, it's, it's, um, it's generally a situation where, you know, the cancer cell was a CLL cell and then becomes more aggressive and, and kind of becomes the dominant cancer because it's a lot more aggressive than the, than the CLL. The CLL is still there, but then now you've got this aggressive lymphoma on top of it. We are still treating it like we do other aggressive lymphomas in general. We are trying to find better ways to treat it because these patients do not have good outcomes with, um, with standard lymphoma treatments. Um, I've been having success recently for my patients that relapse after chemo. The large majority of patients will relapse after chemo. And, um, but I've been having some recent success using CAR T in those patients and, and also now have a, I was thankfully getting it um, sort of off label approval to do that, um, but now actually have a clinical trial investigating um, YESCARDA in, in, those, um, in those patients. So um, that's one area where we're looking, but we'd like to manage first line treatment better. Uh, there's going to be uh, a couple of, uh, the, I, I was looking at the, the, you know, the big cancer meeting, ASCO is coming up. Um, and, and that's usually a, a meeting that's much more focused on solid tumors, but there usually are a handful of lymphoma presentations. Um, there wasn't really much to get excited about, I would say, in terms of the big presentations from, from specifically treatment of CLL, but there was a couple of of oral uh, presentations, big presentations for Richter. So that's really great to see. It's a very hard disease to do clinical trials in because generally the patients present so aggressively that you just have to kind of emergently start treatment. And, you know, putting patients on clinical trials takes a little extra time in most circumstances. So it's so hard, but there's, um, there's, there's uh, looks at um, more data with CAR T in Richter. So we'll get some more information there um, with specifically the, the LISO cell product, which is a different um, CAR T. And then there's also um, you know, looking at doing some immune based therapies um, to, to treat relapsed uh, Richters as, as well. So um, that data hasn't been released yet. So I'll be interested uh, when they, when they put that data up. Um, preceding the, the presentations. Mm -hmm.